Hey YouTube, this is TCA Gaming. So we're going to have another video where we're still going through those packs that I pulled out of this first edition box that were completely resealed. I think there are like 19 packs left or something like that. Some of these I can see the cards sticking out the bottom. I mean, like I can see the cards, you know, in there. You guys can see them too. So I mean, they're they're obviously resealed. They're the stuff probably is no good inside, but we're going to check it out anyways. Um, I might just do about half of what we have left here. Um, we'll just see. You know, we'll, if I haven't pulled anything good, you know, after you know nine, ten packs or something, maybe we'll just go ahead and open up all of them. But I think we'll start with the Venusaur artworks and see what we can get out of here. You know, one good thing is he actually uh, the ones that are popped open. I, I guess the packs are pretty well preserved. If you look, they got these long crimps, but that's just because these are the. Uh, got yeah, the 1999 2000 ones and those are the only other ones that I know of with the long cramps that I can think of off the top of my head but we do have genuine 1999 2000 um, packs so maybe he stuffed some of this stuff with hollows and maybe those hollows actually have the 1999 2000 dates so far we've had a poly wrath but it was definitely not 1999 2000 Dr. Teeny, Professor Oak Oh, he did, well, there's a hollow, and it does not have the dates on it. Um, looks like it's been slightly used, but that's actually not that bad of condition. I'd probably give it about an 8 or a 9, which is a lot better than what I was expecting. And it looks like this uh, War Turtle is indeed 1999-2000, so maybe I'll get to stock up on some of that stuff, because, you know, actually, I've got a couple rows of... 1999 2000 dated base set cards just because I still think they're pretty uh, underrated they're a lot more rare but they're not really all that rare the hollows are pretty tough to find but you can still find some of the hollows for like $300 or less or something like that for PSA 10 which I think it's got to be tough to get those in PSA 10 oh there's the Charizard artworks I was going to do Venusaur artworks first so let's move on to Pack number two. So it's cool to see we got you know a second hollow out of that. Is there a card there? No. Maybe we'll uh one, two, three. Well, that's probably gonna be the hollow, considering it's got a bent corner or something or a rare. It's definitely been restuffed in there. So we have Abra Energy Removal, which was stuck to Polywag. We do have the 1999-2000 dated Pikachu. I'm sure that's that's probably pushing a five dollar card, you know, mint condition. Got Caterpie, Psychic Energy, and the Water Energy. You also have Farfetched, Magikarp, and Plus Power. Plus Power. And then, wow, another Pokemon breeder. I think what he did was he just took all his Pokemon breeders and just was like, eh, we're gonna stick those right into a pack for you. All right, pack number three. Looks like the glue hasn't completely worn off of this one yet. Kind of nice that you preserve the packs. That's probably not going to be a 1999-2000 uh, dated card. We'll just have to see. Open up and check it out. So we got Switch, Sandshrew, Charmander, Coughing, Vulpix. Check it out. So we do have the uh, corrected Vulpix. So for those of you who've been in this for a while, you probably this is all you know stuff that you've heard before, but. This was actually at one time like a $75 card or something because um, all of the Vulpix in the regular unlimited run have HP 50 instead of 50 HP. When 1999-2000 dated base set unlimited cards started getting really popular because people you know, were finding out where they were coming from. It was a discovery element to it and it was tough and there was of course that barrier to entry because you had, you know, it was difference between continents, you know, where you got to find these packs. When people found out that the Vulpix was actually corrected, people you know were going nuts for this card. So this one, like I said, at one point was I, I, I was selling them for seventy-five dollars a piece. They got all the way down, and uh, it was like twenty bucks, and I was still selling them pretty consistently. Um, now I don't think they're more probably worth more than five dollars a piece or something like that. But they, uh, they're st I, I would imagine they're still you know something that people like to add to their collection just so that they have you know, the corrected version of the Vulpix as well. Then we've got Lightning Energy, and we've got Water Energy, Super Potion, Charmeleon, another starter, probably a good card, and Kakuna. And again, these, I think, were pulled right out of packs. So, I mean, it could have been a lot worse. The guy could have just stuffed a bunch of really stupid 
damage cards in here. And then we have another Pokemon Breeder, but check it out, at least it's a shadowless one. So that's pretty nice. All right, so let's move on to our next Venusaur pack. I'm gonna see if we can continue opening up from the bottom since these seals look like to be the ones that were uh, glued back together. I wonder if they use the 1999-2000 packs so that, you know, or like people who reseal this stuff, go for these so that they've got that extra gluing area. All right, one, two, three, four. And I'm surprised that there are actually shadowless cards in these packs. But we got Ponyta, Diglett, Metapod, Squirtle, Rattata, Pokédex, Raticate, Maintenance, Fighting Energy, and the Lightning Energy. And for the rare, is it another Pokémon Breeder? It, it is another Pokémon Breeder. Okay, so maybe we're just going to get all Pokémon Breeders and then after that we'll be stuck with the, you know whatever hollows they have. I think those other packs, those long unlimited packs, those may have actually been sealed the way that uh, those cards come out, except for a few of them. Let's see if we can get into this one now. I know a lot of you like the pack artworks. And some of you have actually framed that stuff up. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Well, I don't know if it's going to happen on this one. There you go. One, two, three, four. Probably a hollow or Pokemon breeder. All right, next up we have Sandshrew, Weedle, Voltorb. We've got Abra, Doduo, Seal. Got another War Turtle, that's good. Defender, Psychic Energy, Lightning Energy. For the rare, kind of looks like it's all centered. It's a Nido King. Uh, definitely not near mint. You can tell that one. It's got those scratches right across there, but it's not too bad. Again, he probably tried to avoid the uh, cards that were really damaged because I imagine they've either lost weight from the wear and tear or they maybe even picked up some weight from all the extra dirt that's stuck on it. So I'm still going to sleeve it up. It'll end up going back into my box of played hollows and non hollows. Or played hollows. I don't keep too many non hollows in that box. All right, we have one more Venusaur artwork. Let's see if we can continue to split these things open. It's kind of fun at this point. You know, I've already lost the money you know, from that from this box. I got the boxes that I've traded for it. But now I'm kind of making a gain towards you know whatever we pull out of these packs, and for the most part, I think some of these will actually be going into my collection, ironically. So we got Starmie, Coughing, another Diglett. The Diglett, there, there was no error version on 1999-2000. In fact, you couldn't, I don't think you could pull this, the, the sideways fist. Like there's some in the Unlimited base set that have an energy for the first attack where it's sideways. And they call it sideways fist error. But I think those come from the theme decks. It was pretty much confirmed. I don't think anybody's pulled those from packs. Could be wrong on that, but I don't think so. Got Charmander, Ghastly, and then there's also, I don't think there's an error water energy for the 1999-2000 set. Got Psychic Energy, Machoke. I mean, these are so light, they almost have that shadowless appeal to them. Seal and Energy Retrieval. And then what do we have here? Another Pokemon Breeder? And we do! It's another Pokemon Breeder. <laughs> go figure. Alright, we have three Charizard artworks. I'm going to go ahead and open those up, and then maybe we'll save these Blastoise ones for another video. Have some fun with it. Kind of feels like the top may have been resealed. I don't know. There we go. Maybe I should just push it sideways and let the 10 years of blue come apart on them. Alright. One, two, three, four. I'm wondering if he missed, and that's going to be the rare right there. We'll put that one. Well, both of those look pretty bad. Maybe these are shadowless cards or something. We'll put the fourth one back, just like it is normal. All right, we got Drowsy, Charmander, Onyx, Bill, Poliwag, Grass Energy. Oh, there's the Pokemon Breeder, so as we thought. Oh, and another Pokemon Breeder, except for this one is shadowless. Then what was this one? Just an energy retrieval. Then we had Nidorino, Lightning Energy, and Pokemon Flute. So both those cards that were damaged, they actually stepped it with two Pokemon Breeders. All right, next box. 
If by chance you're watching this and you're laughing at me because this was the box that you stuffed, you know, I'm going to say that I'm impressed that you actually stayed in the community for six years. But I'm going to highly doubt that that is the case. One, two, three, four. Oh, man, a lot of these kind of look like they're bummed out. That one for sure. All right, Magnemite, Diglett, Switch, Nidoran, Metapod, Poliwhirl, got a Revive, Farfetch'd, Lightning Energy, and a Fighting Energy. Then we have a Pokemon Breeder. Man, this is so exciting. See, either you get a Dinged Up Hollow, or you're going to get a Pokemon Breeder. But at least some of them are Shadowless. That's kind of cool. Wish it had been last, and your last is a tough first dead. It's hard to get in PSA 10, so maybe it's pretty tough on the unlimited side, too. Alright, last Charizard artwork, last pack of this video. And we'll save all of the Blastoise artworks for another one. So we got Metapod, Doduo, Energy Removal, Rattata, Switch, Pokemon Flute. The Growlithe, Magikarp, Psychic Energy, and Grass Energy. And then for the slightly damaged card, it's another Pokemon Reader. Alright, so this video we pulled two Shadowless Pokemon Readers, five non Shadowless Pokemon Readers. I think some of them are actually over there. And then we have two Holographics. We got the Ninetales, which is probably 8 9 condition, and then the Nido King, which is probably about a 6 or so. So the next video we'll have. Three, six, nine, ten packs. We have to have nine for this one. That's not too bad. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, and I hope you don't ever get scammed like I did. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And then uh, just come back again tomorrow at noon.